Welcome friends. In this video, I would like to share with you how I have learned to stay inspired this year in 2020. I'll be sharing some of my habits and projects. So hopefully some of these techniques might help you. I love making new year's resolutions. It allows me to create a plan that I can stick to for a whole year. It also lets me look back on the past years and see how well I'm growing. This year, my plan was to create daily habits so I could have more discipline and structure in my life. The discipline and structure would allow me to utilize my free time better to keep me from being a couch potato. My new habits worked really well for the first few months. In fact, they were my project and focus. After a few months, I was distracted with a new problem and project that came my way. What I realized was these projects took a lot of my focus and they were still important because they were part of my daily life, such as leading initiatives at work or creative projects at home. I realized I need to keep these projects because they enable long-term growth and move the needle because they are what I spend a majority of my time. When I started these new projects, I lost focus on my daily habits. When I lost focus on my habits, I lost my yearly goal. It felt like a failure. I learned my habits and projects were both important. My habits support me during and through my projects. When I dropped them, it left me with no inspiration. I needed to learn how to balance them both. When I lost my momentum, it took weeks for me to get started again. How would I maintain them both this time? I had to learn which habits and projects were important according to my values, ones that would support me even during stressful times. I chose them based on the fundamental values in my life, spiritual, emotional, physical, and creative. I chose five new habits, each taking about 30 minutes for a total of about two and a half hours a day. My spiritual habit includes reading the Bible, which teaches me how to love God and others, plus wisdom in my life. Diet and exercise gives me the energy I need throughout the day. My family time provides me with a support system and painting inspires me with new ideas. I was able to choose these habits based on the fundamental values in my life. What I love to do and what I believe I will continue to enjoy. Activities in times of stress and recovery. Once I got back to keeping my habits, I was able to continue my projects. I learned I needed to choose my projects more wisely. Similar to my habits, I also had to choose my projects based on my values. I also had to consider the difficulty of my projects. If they were too small, then I would lose lack of interest. If they were too big, then I would get burned out. For example, if I'm doing a creative project at home, I'll typically choose something between two and four weeks. If the project is bigger, I will typically work with my team at work that will take six to 12 months. This video is the first project since keeping my habits. I would have to say it's taken me a bit longer, but it's provided more momentum leading to the next project. I believe it's much more sustainable in the long run. It's helped me keep my lifestyle in order and enough time to incubate new ideas. Hopefully this video gave you some tips on how to stay inspired. Let me know your comments on how you choose your habits and projects. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.